Greetings brothers and sisters, my name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to share something, but first I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh, he died on a cross for your sins and for mine, and he was raised after three days for our salvation. I want to share a couple of dreams I had concerning the rapture. I'm going to pose this question to you first. What if this were your last day on earth? What would you do with it? I'm not saying this because I think this is your last day, but I want to ask you to think about the hours and days we have left. You know, we are in the last days. Would you forgive that person who is so hard to forgive? Would you reach out to someone who has been afraid to talk to? You've been afraid to talk to about the rapture and tell them about it? Would you ask God to forgive you for sins that you thought really didn't matter? Would you talk to your family and tell them you love them even if they don't agree with what you think? Would you go to a homeless person and giving them something that you have that they need? Would you talk to God in an intimate way and tell him how much you love him and are waiting to be with him in heaven. A few days ago, I had a dream in which I told someone I was sorry that I had influenced them in a way that was not good, even though I had asked God for forgiveness. <clears throat> However, this small influence of mine obviously mattered. I wasn't specific to a certain sin, but an action I had chosen. I asked God to forgive it, I also thought about the words I had spoken and how I had words out there in the atmosphere that may have hurt someone. I pulled them in in prayer and asked God to put them under the blood of Jesus to have those words forgiven. How about asking for forgiveness for our words while we wait for the rapture? After I asked for forgiveness in the dream, I heard many people shouting together in this dream, almost like before a sporting event. They were shouting rapture, 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 and then I woke up. It was like right before a team comes on the field or before a major concert. There was an electricity in the air and a continuous call for the rapture. In my second dream, a few days before the first one, I was in bed and suddenly I felt a huge pull and I felt myself lifting up. Every part of my body felt like I was being pulled up and I was aware of it. I knew I was being raptured. I was pulled rapidly toward the ceiling of my room and then I was back in bed. It felt amazing. At first I wondered why I was back but realized I was dreaming and it wasn't the actual rapture but a prelude to it. Friends, these things are about to happen. What will you do with these final days, moments and minutes you have left? I'm not saying the rapture is going to be today or tomorrow or next week, but the birth pangs are here and nothing will stop the baby from being born. The baby will come and we will be lifted immediately, like my dream, to your home and my home. Someone mentioned once that time is more valuable than money and because it can't be replaced. We can spend our gold coins of time any way we choose, but the wealth of our time on earth is slipping away, being spent moment by moment, never to return. We all have the same struggles with distractions and meaningless hours that take our time. I find that frustrations can overwhelm us if we don't keep our focus on Jesus. There's so many things that can make us fearful, worried, stressed, or upset, unless we take a deep breath and allow the Holy Spirit to give us an awareness that it all won't matter in the long run. So this is a small reminder that you are loved and secure. If you are safe, saved, you have your ticket in hand and you are on the ark. When the ark moves, you will move. If you aren't saved, ask Jesus to forgive you and turn toward him. He will forgive you while it is today. Salvation is for today. Secondly, use your moments to do momentous and powerful things. Go to and give a homeless person a home-cooked meal or a blanket and a smile. Give them the gospel or a track and show love. Take homemade bread to your neighbor. 
give something away that's valuable to someone who can't return the favor. Bake cookies and include a note of kindness and give it to someone in need. Pay attention to someone who needs your attention, your ear, and listen without any judgments. Share Jesus. This is most important. Love Jesus with all of your being. These are some ideas to spend your time coins wisely. Looking forward to meeting you in heaven. God bless. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.